Well, a recap of our top story now. And Saudi Arabia's top prosecutor says he is seeking the death penalty for five suspects in the Jamal Khashoggi murder investigation. Eleven suspects in total have been indicted. A spokesman for the prosecutor's office also says a former intelligence deputy gave the order to form the group now implicated in Khashoggi's killing. And that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is not being investigated. For more, let's speak now to Salim Atalai, who's journalist and commentator for 24 TV here in Istanbul. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks. What is this? So, uh, speaking of kangaroo trials, uh, now in Saudi Arabia, uh, Prince Salman decides on how the national soccer team should play and who should score. He decides on the market cap, market value of the oil company Aramco. He single-handedly draws the lists for the guests dash detainees uh, at Ritz-Carlton. Mm -hmm. He's so uh, on hand and in detail, uh, the management style, uh, and he's not aware of this uh, murder. I think I think I should rest my case. It and is leave laughable. The studio I mean, so, right so what are they trying to do with this? Is this to satisfy uh, international pressure that justice be served quickly? But mm -hmm. that's likely to backfire that's too, too, because if it's done quick. so inhumanely as to rush the death penalty sure. for five, and I, I don't mean to sound like I'm, I have sympathy sure. uh, for these five suspects. But Why this, five? There, there were more than five who arrived in planes. Five so far that they're they're looking at executing. They right can now. be ex uh, uh, acquitted too. That's uh, there's no guarantee that they will be penalized. But why five? Why the only five? There were uh, 15 to 18 who were involved. You think in... there's no guarantee that they'll be penalized? Uh, it's Saudi court. We don't know. Uh, that's. Uh, and the five, if this is serious and if their lives will be per terminated, which is a gruesome way, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. terminating lives, uh, executions in, in Saudi are, are very messy. So, but uh, if they're going to end up like this, uh, they should have something to say against their, or this uh, accusation. Don't they have any objection to the, the to prosecution's claims? Will they be able to make those objections? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, were they really alone who gave the order? Is this still the unanswered question? So the best chance is maybe slim chance, but uh, those five uh, would really confess. But would, oh. would their confessions be heard? And that Kahtani, Kahtani is also a good buddy of Prince Salman. They, they go everywhere. And uh, it must be that 15 minute break that Kahtani organized this without the knowledge of uh, his buddy Prince. I mean, that's, that, that really is makes what makes no sense about this. I mean, nobody does anything in Saudi, as you've said many times, without, just said now, without the permission sure. of the boss. Uh, why would a former intelligence deputy take that kind of authority and compromise the position of the crown prince just to what, get revenge on Khashoggi for himself? Doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Again, the basic question, who ordered this and uh, how did that go through the, the channels? And uh, that unanswered telephone call, the question, unanswered question was uh, mm. when one of the suspects made the call to Saudi and uh, spoke to someone, which was right. Kahtani, by the way. Okay. And, uh, tell your boss. Tell your done. boss uh, is... Exactly. Uh, how much, how much more do we need? Right. Salim will follow up with you in the hours sure. to come. Uh, Newsfeed is actually up next. We'll be back at uh, the top of the hour with your headlines. Do stay with us on TRT World.